It's getting hammered. This thing is getting smelled. Look at that. Come on. Oh. Okay. Uh. All right. Oh, that was getting smashed. I gotta get this whole cover out. Here we go. Huh. It's a heavy fish. Oh man. Fighting it like an idiot. Trying to get the camera angles right here. Filming by yourself. Oh, it's a good fish. I can feel the weight. Huh. I'm running a 48 inch medium heavy here with a 3000 series Nasi. And man, the 3000 series reels help so much with these big fish on these deadlines. They just, you saw that, that rod was just getting hammered. Oh, there's a big fish. Look at that. Oh, that's a big fish. This fish is heavy. Oh man. Still trying to catch my breath here. Get to that rod as quick as possible. This is a heavy fish. Oh man. I'm going to have to take this fish straight into the hut. Oh. Oh, man. What a big fish. So heavy. That is the other thing that these, uh, these longer rods are good for. Is uh, you got to have a full grip rod. Anything with a short handle, you're just killing your wrist. You can leverage the end of the cork under your elbow. Oh, look at that thing. I'm starting to ice up. It's cold out today. Oh, come on. This is a big fish. Come on. My guides are starting to freeze up on me a little bit. Come on. My hands are, uh, are feeling it here. Trying to see, see if I can see this fish yet. Mm. Ooh. There's a big run. Oh. Trying to keep these eyelets out of the water, but when they take a big run like that, then you gotta you gotta protect that edge of the ice they can uh, burn that line into the edge of the ice really easy and if you're out here yourself like that it's going to be tough to get it out you can see how quick those eyelets freeze up once they get water on it today my end guides here are just starting to freeze up on me oh come on buddy let me see this fish There's another run. It's a big fish. Oh man. Come on. This whole system's freezing up on me. is getting sore. It's getting closer here. Oh, that was a big shift in uh, in hook there. Come on. 
before it was wrapped and it, it just uh, came undone. Still not up my leader yet. Here we go, here's the leader. No. Come on. I can't see. I can't see down there to see where this fish is hooked. That's a big fish. See the side of the body, that is a big fish. There's the face. Come on. I cannot see down there to see where this fish is hooked. Come on. It's hooked in the side of the face, so it's a, tr a trick to get this up the hole here yourself. The fish is too big. We use 10 inch holes here. But uh, this is tricky with one person. You can see, I'll show the camera there. That's a big fish. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, this is tricky. This is not easy. That ice is just getting to be thick enough that you can just barely reach down there. Okay. Oh. I just put that hook in my hand and it just ripped out. Oh. That did not feel good. Here's the head. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Check that out. What a beauty fish. I got it unhooked. My other camera isn't working, so we're gonna get a bump on this fish first. Okay. You can see that there. Just over 38. Awesome. Check that fish out, guys. 38 inch, you're on the deadline. Beautiful fish, nice fat fish. Just a gorgeous fish here. Beautiful. Wow. Look how chunky that fish is. Put the live scope on. There you go. Just like that. Let's watch on the live scope. There he goes down to the bottom on the live scope. Just rips right to the bottom. As soon as you let them go, that's how you know they're doing well. There we go. Check that out. There's what a 38 incher looks like on your live scope LVS 62 in 60 feet of water. This, I'm not gonna lie, like this is a battle fighting deadline fish like that in this cold one person and running the cameras. Like you can tell this one camera is just constantly beeping here. It's just screwing up. But, uh, but you can see where I, uh, I hooked myself when I went down to, to grab that fish. Hooked myself right in the thumb and uh, the fish actually ripped it out. But uh, oh, what an awesome, awesome fish. That was my second flag. I lost the other fish off of one earlier. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Still a bit of time, but uh, man, just, oh, that's amazing. Tons of fun. Lake trout slime on the lens. There's slime on everything right now. How's that? That's a lot better. All right, well, I'm back in the hut here and I brought that deadline rod in there. I've got a thought out before I set it back up. The eyes are just completely frozen. And uh, well, what happens too is the line gets frozen up. And the next time a fish goes to take line off there, the line gets bound up and it'll actually, the rod will start bending and then it'll pull the, uh, the line off once it, it pulls it hard enough to take it off when it's frozen. But uh, what that does is it causes the fish to drop the bait. So I've got to thaw this out for a little bit of time here. I'm gonna strip down, get my jacket nice and dry for the snowmobile ride back. And uh, you know, it's still pretty early. I've got lots of time, but uh, yeah, we're gonna take care of all that, get this dead bait set again. And uh, then we're just gonna, you know, keep waiting. Look at that, just drenched. 
But uh, I've got the other one sitting right now, and uh, I might pull out a jigging rod for a little bit. There's a fish on the graph right now. I haven't shut it off since I released that last fish, so maybe we can catch a few jigging in here. I'll put a rattle bait on and try it out, but uh, I'm gonna dry it out first. me up right away oh I got him too I just dropped that rattle bait down I didn't even have time to do anything I saw that fish on the graph when I was just talking there about taking my coat off and warp drying it out and everything and I dropped this rattle bait to him I was still thawing out that other dead bait rod and uh, this guy just crushed it I just just dropped he's not not a giant fish but uh, and he's fighting like a good one so much fun, this rattle bait fish in Lake Trout like this. They just, just inhale these things. Check that out. He's a little wrapped up. <sighs> well, <laughs> just drop that down. First drop after uh, fighting that fish on the deadline here. I'm still thawing that rod out. And look at this super dark little Lake Trout. He's gotta be 24, 25. But uh, another beauty little fish. Let's get him back here. Oh, this is so, there's a fish. Oh, that guy, I was actually just watching some footage back and uh, I saw this fish come up for the rattle bait. I just released that other one. My rod is still, my dead bait rod is up above the heater there up on the roof, just trying to thaw it out. But uh, yeah, another fish on the rattle bait. I'm using a Rappler Rip and Wrap today, size seven in a chrome moss back shiner. That is my favorite color. It's just uh, that bluish green. Oh, this is a bigger fish too. Chrome moss back shiner, those are big head shapes. It looks big on the graph too. Like it's a big mark on the live scope. <laughs> this fish, this is gonna be a decent fish too. That is wild. You can see it on the live scope here. I'm using a bit lighter rod in the hut here. This is another good fish. Oh. Yeah, this is a big fish. I'm looking at the marks on the live scope. I wish I could show you. Just was not prepared for that. I don't even have my chest camera on. Oh man, this is another good fish. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. The worst thing possible would be if I hear bells now from a flag. There, I'm gonna try to not screw this up. Come on. Look at that. I'm just gonna try to get some shot of this on the live scope here. Look at that. This is another good fish. Ugh, come on. Another heavy fish. And he chased the rattle bait up. This fish came right off the bottom. This fish went vertical under my bait. I started reeling it up and he crushed it. Okay, I'm into my leader. What do we got? This is a decent fish. It could, could be another master. It's not. Not a monster, but it's it's a good fish. Come on. Get that head turned. This is a big fish. Come on. Still got some energy. Here we go. Another, another big fish. And he's got a big Cisco in his mouth or something. Oh, look at this on the rattle bait. He's got a big, dirty Cisco skeleton in his mouth. How cool is that? Barbless, there we go. On the chrome mossback shiner. I'll show you that bait in a minute here. But, uh, oh my God. On a rattle bait. For, I just put this down for like a couple minutes. This is unbelievable. Look at this dirty Cisco in his mouth. Just a skeleton. But look at that face on this thing another giant 
This one's over 40, no way. This is a 41. A 41, come on, you've gotta be kidding me. This thing, if I pinch the tail on it, 41. I thought that was gonna be like a 35, a 41 incher jigging on the Rapala Rip and Wrap. Just a beautiful fish and he's got a big, dirty Cisco skeleton in his mouth. That is so cool. Just an amazing fish jigging in the hut while waiting for my deadline rod to thaw out. That is ridiculous. I'm gonna get this one back. Oh my God. That is nuts. Hey, look at that. Just an absolute tank. <laughs> so cool. Just, uh, you know, wait on that one. Check that out, he's gone. Gone straight to bottom, you can see right over here. That fish is so lively too. Oh man, unbelievable day so far. I've got my one deadline soaking. I just grabbed that jig and rod just to, uh, just to have my second line fishing while my other one's thawing out on top of the hut there. And a 41 incher. I thought it was gonna be like a 35. But uh, man, that is just ridiculous. Like how about that? No way. Well, I'm actually packed up for the day. I've still got the hut to tear down, but uh, just an amazing day here at Baker's Narrows Lodge, Northern Manitoba. Two great fish, a 38 and a 41, and uh, a bunch of other nice fish too. But uh, awesome day. I can't wait to do it again. I'm gonna get back in the daylight today. Just uh, nice to run back in the daylight. Uh, probably missing out on another big fish right now but uh, we're not gonna think about that right so we'll be out here again and uh, thanks for watching this video we'll see you on the next one